Hello. This week I'm going to be featuring the number 11 as a magic number. Now I know that you've seen 11 a lot of times. There are many websites that feature the number 11 as being a magic number, something that you really need to learn how to multiply by. But I'm going to show you that it is very special because of the feature of not only doing a 2x2, two two, but also a larger number times 11. Get your chance to practice by looking at the example. If you have, for example, 52 times 11, you're not going to just do what they've done before where you take the 5 and the 2 and make it a 7 and put it to the middle and so the answer is going to be 5, 7, 2. What you're going to do, you're going to look at the 5 and add that to 52. So now what you have, you have 5, 7 and then 2 left over. That's how it works. See, the mindset is different because you're not just sticking numbers in between, but you're adding the first number to the entire number and then you're taking the remaining number and simply shifting it over where it goes on the end. Let's do 55 because that goes over base 10 and it's going to be harder if you use the first method. If you, have, you were doing like 11, you don't want to do that. What you want to do, you want to take the 5 and add that to 55. It's going to be 60 and then you have a 5 on the end. So it's going to be 605. Okay. Now let's do some more examples here. Let's do one of three numbers times 11. Okay, this one's going to be 7, 23 times 11. Okay, wrote this down here, put it on the board, and I want to show you each individual step. What you want to do is you want to take the 7 and you want to add that to 72. Okay, so now you have 7, 9. And since it didn't go over base 10, you simply take a look at the two last numbers you've got a 2 and a 3. Add those together, it's going to be a 5. So now you have 7, 9, 5, and your last number is a 3, and that's the answer. 7, 9, 5, 3. Okay? Let's do another one. Let's have you do, let me see here, let's write down something kind of simple so you don't get too confused with the technique, but still good enough so you can see that it works. Let's do 4, 2, and 3. Okay? times 11. Okay, push them to the first one. Again, you're going to take the 4 and add that to 42. So that's 4, 6, and then you have 2 and 3 is 5, and then you have a 3. Let's do another one. This time I'll make it a little bit higher. Let's go 6, 8, and 1 times 11. Okay. Again, you're going to take the 6 and add that to 68, okay? So that would be 7, 4, and then what you have is 8 and 1 is 9. So 7, 4, 9, 1 is your answer. If you do another one, this one here is going to a bit go for base 10. It will go for base 10, as a matter of fact. It's going to be 9, 7, 6 times 11. And this time, I want you to really make sure you understand this. You take a look at the 9 and you add that to 97. Of course, it's going to go over 100, so it's going to be 1, 0, 6, and then there's a 7. But you can see that 7 and 6 is 13, so the 6 will be a 7. So it's 1, 0, 7, 3, because 13 has the 3 there, and then you put the 6 on the end, okay? If that wasn't clear, I'm going to say it slower and make sure you understand what I just did there. We had the 9, 7, 6 times 11. We took the 9 and added that to 97, which is 106. But now you've got 6 and 7 is 13, so it's 1073, and then the 6 is on the end. Okay? That's how you do it. Now, that for me is much easier than having to take numbers and put them in the middle and hope that there's not going to be something that carries over. Okay, So practice that, use that, because if you do, you will simply understand in a more of a cerebral way how to do these numbers than just doing some sort of trick that doesn't always work because you get confused when numbers go above base 10. Okay, So thank you for watching. And as always, continue to watch. Please give me comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we will see you next week with the next magic number.